Did you just see that? Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> If you haven't heard of Honesdale yet, you will soon. This small Pennsylvania town has been making quite a name for itself. Recently seen on HGTV for its up and coming downtown, it also hasn't forgotten its impressive historic roots as home to America's first commercial steam locomotive tracks. With plenty of activities, both new and old, we're here to find out. Is it worth the visit? What's up everyone? We are here in Honesdale, Pennsylvania today. It's a small town in the Poconos of Pennsylvania. It's about two and a half hours outside of New York City and we are here to see all of the fun things that it has to offer. And our first stop, as any good first stop on an adventure day, is coffee, of course, at Black and Brass. Let's go check it out. Founded as a small brick and mortar in the Poconos in 2016, Black and Brass has now grown to four locations and offers 25 different roasts. According to Black and Brass's website, they strive to foster an environment for all members of the community to feel welcome and expressive and serve as a crossroads between coffee, art, culture, and creativity. If a bug flies past me and I flip backwards, that'll then be I'll make so sure to catch it on the YouTube video. <laughs> So Black and Brass is located right in the heart of downtown Honesdale, right on its main street. It's so conveniently located, we just walked right up to it from where we parked. And I got today an iced caramel latte, and it is very good. I got a tea latte, because if you've been here, you know I don't do caffeine. And I love a coffee shop that offers an herbal tea, because otherwise I just get really jealous of all of Eric's fun drinks. So that's a bonus. But we also had a really great time inside the coffee shop from every experience that we've had here in like the two hours that we've been here today. Just the people have been so friendly and so kind and inside it feels like a really genuine community vibe, which is another thing that we love. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, I'm Crystal. And I'm Eric. And this is what we like to do. We like to explore small towns, find the hidden gems and do the fun things that they have to offer. So if you're new to that, definitely like this video, subscribe for more and uh, Follow us along and we'll, we'll hang out. <laughs> but for right now, we have a train to catch. Hoosdale is the proud home of the first commercial locomotive in North America, the Stour Bridge Lion. In the 1800s, Honesdale was originally known as Dyberry Forks and was a key stop along the D&H Canal. And though the coal trains have stopped rolling long ago, the history is still very much alive in Honesdale. If you can even believe it, which I'm sure you can, we found ourselves at yet another Pennsylvania train town. And we just got finished up at the Wayne County Historical Society Museum. It's just a stone's throw from Black and Brass Coffee, literally right on Main Street. It actually wasn't a planned stop for us. We just decided to go in because it was so inviting and we really had a great time. It's only $5 for adults, free for kids, and it's definitely worth the price. Not only do you get to see a full-scale replica of the Stour Ridge Line, the famous steam engine from the local area, it goes over the full complement of the industrial history of the region covering glass making in the area textiles it was so amazing how much i learned through that pretty quick uh and inexpensive tour <laughs> sorry was there sorry, a spider is it? <laughs> 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 if you decide to come to on your trip to Honesdale, just make sure you check out their hours first did they change seasonally and they're only open a couple days per week in each season so just maybe plan your trip around that because it definitely is worth seeing and i know it helped us get a better understanding of all of the other things we're still going to see today. And actually just behind the historical society, there are train excursions that you can take and you can actually take a train ride that departs right from downtown. So if you want to make a whole train day of it, trains are your thing, you could hit the museum and then hit a train ride right from downtown Honesdale. We're not going to do that today, but it's something you could definitely pick up while you're in town. And we did check TripAdvisor and we heard that it's really only worth it in the fall. So maybe keep that in mind when you come here. But for us, we've done the downtown, we've done the main street, we learned about the train history. Now we're off to do something totally different. You aren't going to want to miss this. Just a 15 minute drive from downtown Honesdale, you can find yourself a world away at Tanner Falls. That is, if you're adventurous enough to take on the dirt road drive that leads you there. Do you think that was the bad road that we read about? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I think it's, it's trying its best to become part of the conversation, <laughs> though. <laughs> Encouraged by some funny classic reviews about this place on TripAdvisor, we just had to check it out for ourselves. Oh. 
we've made our way to Tanner Falls and it is gorgeous. It's really nice. It's way better than I expected. I couldn't believe like that there was such a powerful waterfall just so close to an accessible area, honestly. It is, though. So this is only 15 minutes from the downtown that we were just in, which is a really easy drive to get to. But the last road on the way here is just not for the faint of heart. If you have any concerns about your vehicle's performance or don't like really sketchy roads, I would yeah. not recommend it. That being said, there is a parking lot just by the road that you can park at and walk the full half mile in. So if you're a better hiker than driver, it's options available for you too. Once you get here, it is a bit of a steep hike down to the view. So you can view the waterfall from the top, which is pretty, but we do recommend if you're able to, to come down a couple steps. It's not terrible, but you do have to scramble a little bit. So you have like near hip problems, that might not be the best for that. One thing that I've been getting into and I would like to mention is birding. I give this place four cacaws. I didn't see a lot of birds, but we did see like a snow goose, like a rare bird fly right on through here. So if I had better timing, this would be an amazing place to bird see, bird see. Bird see. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. That's good. I didn't even know about that one. <laughs> All right, well, this little hike has these inexperienced hikers really hungry. So we're going to head back to town and grab some dinner. So we'll see you there. Bye. All right, we are back at home. We are showered, we are cozy. We had an awesome day out in Honesdale and we are rounding our night out with some Vietnamese food from Ba and Me, which is also right on the main street in Honesdale. So super convenient and we haven't tried it yet, but it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So we picked Ba and Me because they had some really incredible looking vegan options. We love to patronize anything with vegan options wherever we go and take check it out. And Honesdale overall has ended up being a really awesome place. I will admit I am from not too far from here. So I'm known of Honesdale, but I've never gotten to explore it like we did today to actually get out and hit the streets and walk around. And just at every turn, the community was amazing. I've been impressed by the food options, like a small town like this, having vegan options and just like such a small community feel. It's unlike a lot of other places. We have some super interesting travels coming up. So definitely <laughs> subscribe if you're into international travel. We're doing it. We're doing it, we're going. I can't believe you let the cat out of the bag. More <laughs> to come on that. <laughs> more to come on that, we think you're gonna like it. And if you like this, subscribe because there are gonna be more small towns coming too. We have a road trip out to the Midwest this summer where we'll be doing a lot more in a series like this. So, like Eric said, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Awesome. Well, we'll see you there. See you there. <laughs>